blankets. And no surprise, temperatures have warmed up across the Okanagan and snow is quickly melting. But piles of the slushy white stuff remain on the sides of the roads. For one, Vernon woman just dropping her child off at Harwood Elementary proved to be a challenge. It's really hard to park in the parking lot at Harwood. This was one of those days I wasn't able to walk and kind of got there early, like 10 minutes, 12 minutes early and still no parking spots in there. So I parked, trying to driving down 45th Ave and trying to find a spot on there, of course, to park in. It's just like really built up and slushy. And I actually was kind of wondering if I would get caught up, like, you know, stuck in there too, because it was quite bad and then I noticed these signs I get out to look at the signs and of course it says no parking and it just was quite inconvenient and I mean of course I parked there anyways because I wasn't going to be able to drag my just my five month old in her bucket seat I can't walk too far with her like that as far as being plowed on the sidewalk itself it was fine I think because it had melted, right? Yeah. So I think it was more weather-induced melting that was happening. Normally what we do is around school areas there, um, by council policy, um, snow removal is conducted around uh, schools as well as the downtown core, um, 27th Street, 48th Avenue, and uh, Highway 97. So schools are included in our removal air, uh, um, kind of area. Um, of course, it depends on um, obviously how much snow accumulates, whether or not we um, proceed with um, providing that service. So we did end up with some uh, fairly wet snow overnight. So we have had plow trucks um, out on our main and local roads um, still plowing and sanding. Um, obviously, the warmer temperatures, uh, things are uh, melting off. If we do get another uh, dump of snow on Thursday, there's a good chance we'll be doing some snow removal uh, uh, this weekend to take care of that. It takes time time for the city to clear all the roadways. That's why it's important for drivers and pedestrians to be extra cautious when maneuvering through slush and snow. For Castanet News, I'm Chantal Deacon in Vernon. Castanet has webcams and lots of them. Click the cams button in our yellow masthead to see them all.